Hello, train friends. Welcome back to the Pittsburgh Industrial Railroad. Uh, today, I just want to do a really quick review on the Menards American Power and Light Factory. And as you can see, it's over there on the right hand side of my layout. Okay, here's a close view of the building. And uh, as you can see, it's really, really nicely detailed and lit up. Um, this building uh, is, was let out by Menards early 2016, I want to say. And I decided to pick one up because I realized. Um, it was really nice and it's it happened to fit perfectly in that area of my uh, inner loop. The uh, the dimensions of the building are nine and a half inches width, 14 and a half inches in length, and just about 15 inches tall. Now there's two red smoke stacks there on the left that um, I added the, the gray cotton to. So that does not come with the building. That was an added detail that I put on there. Um, the LED lights are like a coal white color, really nice. The American Power and Light sign is awesome. It has a couple different lighting features that I'll show you shortly. Um, all the lighting in the building is powered by a single transformer. It's a four and a half volt transformer that Menard sells separately from the, the building. So you have to buy that separately if you want to purchase one of these. Um, just talking real quick, where the, the spot where this building is sitting at, um, it used to have my uh, high tension tower which you can see over there on the left in the back corner it used to be sitting right there so I had to reroute the wires the high tension wires and now they go from the wall to that tower and then over to the building you can't see them real well in this video but they're there and then you can see them continuing off the transformers with the red lights over here to the right which um, there's now a new tower that I painted on my wall and then those wires continue down to the right where I would go towards my yard. Alright so um, back to the building real quick here. Um, it's really nice nicely constructed. It's um, surprisingly it's made out of wood but it's very detailed um, and ours did a fantastic job on it. Um, there's even like little signs on the doors down there. And I'll get a couple closer views and talk about a couple other features this building has. All right, here's a close view of the doors in the entranceway. Uh, I just want to show you that and show you that there's a, a lot of different signs that are separately applied to the building and they add um, a nice level of detail to it. Okay, here's a side view of the profile of the building. You can see how it's narrower and on the back side there is a tunnel that covers the train track and it creates an area where you can simulate the coal being dropped off at the factory. And it's a really neat feature, I really like it. The trains pass through there with ease, no problems. Um, I wouldn't imagine you want to try to take a taller, you know, husky stack train through there. It's, it's more for a coal hopper, uh, lower type cars. But overall, yeah, I'm real happy with the building and I'm glad I picked one up. Uh, I'd like to show you the lighting features on the sign and then at the end, I'll do a very quick uh, running session with a, just showing a, a coal train passing through the building. 